welcome back my friends to day six of vlogmas today i've got a simple and fun little process to share with you creating snowflake doodles snowflakes are super easy to create regardless of your comfort level when it comes to drawing or doodling and once you get the hang of it you can really put your twist on it on different surfaces on different projects and even using different supplies and materials so something that i love doing is actually drawing over the top of a messy watercolor surface and I am actually just starting out by creating little messy circles that I will then eventually draw over the top of. My goal when I draw over any kind of watercolor surface is to make sure that color is light enough that my drawings are going to show through. Now I am just wetting down my surface one more time because I want those circles, those little messy areas of color to be really diluted and to be very, very light once they dry. Watercolors always dry lighter than they look when they are wet. And you can see once mine is dry, I have a nice colorful surface to work over the top of. Now I'm going to do one little example of a snowflake doodle for you all. And then I'm going to start filling this surface with a lot of those different doodles, trying different designs, little lines, altering them just a little bit each time that I draw them. My goal is to fill this surface and really have something that I could utilize as a pattern, some kind of creative surface design that I can cut up, use as collage paper, or use in a variety of my mixed media projects. So when I am doodling or even drawing a snowflake, I actually like to start with a nice light circle that I usually use a compass to draw. But if you have anything circular, you can trace around it. This will just give you a light outline or guide so that any of those lines that you add within the process will all line up for the most part. I always have my compass on hand so that I can draw those circles as I work my way across the surface. Now, when I am drawing snowflakes, I keep it a little bit imperfect. I don't use a ruler. I eyeball it. I don't measure things out. Fun fact about me, I'm not a big fan of using rulers in my art. So if I don't have to, I'm not going to do it. You'll notice that my lines are a little bit wobbly. I'm okay with that because I'm gonna go into this design with a lot of different lines and embellishments, which will actually cover up any of those imperfections. So a snowflake is fun because you can play around with really simple shapes, designs, little embellishments, doodles, marks, and lines. I like to really play around with very, very simple shapes, triangles, circles, um, petal shapes. I might add a diamond shape here and there. And what I like to do is see how many different embellishments I can fit into my own snowflake designs. This will take a little bit of practice and I just like to jump right in with a pen. I don't tend to pencil things out except for that outline of that circle, but you could certainly use that pencil to sketch out your designs. You can make a little plan or rough draft sketch of what you want to do with those snowflakes. For me personally, this is about just playing on that surface. I'm not interested in perfection. I am just interested in doodling and trying to fill an entire surface with those snowflakes. So for me, I actually like to work off the top of my head with a permanent pen and just jump right in. But what I want you to take notice of as you watch me work and fill this surface is that a lot of the things that I'm adding to these designs are really, really simple. A leaf shape or a circle or a triangle once you pair it with other embellishments, once you maybe make it teeny tiny or scatter them all over your design, it suddenly starts to look quite a bit detailed. And once you get the hang of the entire process, you can really play around with all sorts of different shapes and designs. You're gonna notice in all the different snowflakes that I add to this surface, I have all kinds of different things happening within those snowflakes. You're also gonna notice once again, mine are very imperfect. When I am doodling or when I am playing around with maybe more simple drawings or repetition, adding lots of stuff to a surface, I like to give myself permission to forget about the results and really just play. It can be so easy to get caught up in perfection when you are creating art, but specifically when you are drawing. That is why I like kind of finding simple little things that I can do, layer together or add on that surface to really create the look of embellishment, but without the stress that often comes along with drawing.
And so what I'm going to be doing is actually just repeating similar shapes and designs within these snowflakes all across this surface. And I'm going to let you all watch. I'm also going to use a brush and some watercolor paint after I have finished with my pen to create some even larger snowflakes in the background or in some of the space in between some of my pen drawings. My hope is that this inspires you to start playing around with snowflakes with a little bit of doodling and see what you can come up with. These types of designs are great at the holidays for gift cards, gift tags, homemade wrapping paper. You can really play around with a snowflake design or a snowflake pattern and run with it in a lot of different ways. You can use your favorite tools and materials, add color or go straight for that black and white drawing and come up with something that is very detailed or super simple. A snowflake is such a fun way to add a little handmade touch to a gift or it's a fun motif or design to add to any kind of winter themed artwork, art journal pages, or any kind of surface design. So I'm going to let you all watch me fill this entire surface with snowflake doodles. And once again, I hope this brings you inspiration. 